Wandering Night, a low vision view of the world. Pictured Rocks, National Lake Shore, Backpacking Trip, May 2018. You get away from the lakeshore proper, maybe just a hundred feet above the lake, and the pleasant coolness just goes right away. We've left Potato Patch, perhaps back a quarter mile now, and now well, we're back in the forest. You can hear more bird life and other things. Something that quieted down walking along the edge of Miner's Beach. I wouldn't mind getting the coolness back. Temperature probably dropped. I wouldn't be surprised if it dropped more than five degrees. I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer to 10. Now, we're back in the sweltering mugginess. Uh, that eroded a lot. Yeah. <sighs> we'll have to move this section off the uh, back a little bit soon, I think. Oh, God. The sun is about to set. And I'm sitting here on the rocks at Mosquito Beach. Maybe a couple other people around, but I don't know where they are. Most everyone's back at the campsite. A lot of people got to the campsite well before me and uh, L, Steve, and Grace. Long day. And tough day. Uh, feeling a little out of sorts. The UC has been acting up. Uh, but here now and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day it's really pretty out here the sun's coloring the sky pink it'll probably be down in about three or four minutes what a lovely color the sky is reasonably clear of clouds right now maybe we're done with the rain that'd be fantastic if we are uh and it's supposed to cool off today i think the temperature is well into the 70s at I like the Camelbacks way better than than um, bottled water, and I think it's probably the accessibility of it mm -hmm. is what I like. Yeah, this just because I can't I can't reach it, mm -hmm. you know. So something like that might be nice. I will never learn to swim too efficiently, even if I worked on it and got some kayaking skills. I don't think I ever can uh, get the skills to contend with this little body of water. Pictured rocks is always changing. We had fogs come and go, like this one here near Grand Portal Point. But at Spray Falls, things have cleared up again. It's always changing here at Pictured Rocks National Lake Shore. That's one thing that makes it so enjoyable. I do so hope that under this beacon bright moon those sounds are being picked up. The barred owls are particularly unearthly, tossing the occasional moon, and the drone of crickets and frogs probably in the background. It's a strange night out there.
fog has rolled in and out a few times as we've been walking along the beach between 7 mile and 12 mile beaches. It was pretty thick earlier, around 11 o'clock. Kept the sun at bay, which was nice. Now, though, the fog's pretty much gone. It's still hazy out. The sun's out, and that's warmed things up quite a bit. Still noticeably cooler than yesterday, so that's a good thing. Doug and I are having a nice morning. One nice thing about Picture Rocks National Lakeshore is you have options. Some people took the official North Country Trail. Doug and I followed the beach. Of course, a beach walk isn't necessarily easier. Lots of rocks. Gotta watch out for the waves now and again, too. But you get to see the lake in all its wondrous glory. And sure, sometimes it's a challenge, as you'll see in a minute. You can have sections that are going to get your feet wet no matter what you do. But you also get scenes like this. Everybody makes choices. The people that followed the North Country Trail had forests, maybe some flowers, but fewer views of the lake. It won't really show, but for the last while, I'm sure longer than it, shorter than it seemed, although it seemed awfully long, we've been hopping rocks on narrow ledges. It seemed a lot wetter than we recall. Doug took a little slip and fall, got himself a little wet, but everything a bruise and a half clean body now, he's in good shape. I've soaked both my feet. We don't merit it being quite this challenging, but no one had to say beach walks are easy. And somewhere out there is the Asabo Light. One of the many boats that Lake Superior has claimed over the years. Oh. Inspecting our fire? Yeah. This is our final day heading on out. Well, we've left the lake behind. Now and again, you get little patches like we just walked through of trillium. So I think that's what those were to make things a little prettier. Here comes some more. So you, you take your enjoyment where you can find it. And this is, I think, pretty enjoyable, even though it's heading up to hot and muggy again. Which is something of an energy, uh-oh, energy drain. Well, hmm.
passing through the fields before we get to the visitor center at the eastern end of the trail. And then about a mile to go to get to Sable Falls. Didn't get any pictures this year. And the people that visited the dune lookout point were sucked in, so no views for them. But as you can see, Pictured Rocks does have something to offer to everyone.